Our first guest tonight starred in some of the best loved and most feared movies of all time. Her latest is called Everything Everywhere All at Once. It opens in theaters Friday. Please welcome Jamie Lee Curtis. <laughs> A dumb I question to I start. just schooled you. You did. You gave me a heart to no, heart. No, because when you hug, yeah. particularly someone like you, who is such a big supporter of Children's Hospital, Los Angeles hero. I was there today. <laughs> well, they are the heroes. Believe I understand. Me. And you as well. But yes. you hug heart to heart so that your heartbeat touches another. So any of you guys, That's when nice. you go home, you hug someone, make sure your heart hugs theirs. I feel like I can't learn anything anymore. Like, there's like, my brain is a sponge and it's full of like 80s song lyrics. <laughs> and that's it, and nothing else is getting in. And my entire childhood was a sponge, and now I am wide open and you are. like on fire. Do you take lessons? I do. I yeah. want to be a student. I am actually taking drum lessons from Dorothea Taylor. Wow. If you don't know her, go on Instagram. And she... Which I invented, which we'll talk about later. But... <laughs> ah, 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 with the uh-huh, like this. I actually did, but we'll talk about it so... later. She is a fantastic drummer. She's in her 60s. And my friend John Stamos, who is a real drummer... Yeah, right. ...is sort of cheering me on as, like, a, my best friend cheerleader. Has he offered to... Because he yes, has... Yes, of course. ...taught a couple of people I know how to play the drums. Yes, he is a fantastic human being. Oh, and so dreamy also, and he smells like shampoo. <laughs> yeah. You've probably noticed that. If you ever, boy, if you ever just get on a drum stool with him, I recommend it. Okay. Um, I do. I love him. I do want to say congratulations. I know your daughter is getting married yes. uh, very soon. Yes. And I wonder how involved... my, my, my youngest daughter, my elder daughter, Annie, was married three years ago in the backyard to her lovely husband, Jason Wolf. I see. And um, now your youngest daughter. And now daughter. Ruby and Kinthea are getting married in the backyard. I am officiating in May. Um, it is a cosplay wedding. Is it really? It is a cosplay wedding. Tell me exactly what that means. That means you, d you wear a costume. You dress up as something. Will they be... That's what cosplay means. Yeah, no, but... I understand you. It's, like, really hard for you to learn new things. Here's yeah. what it is. Yeah. Cos... Cos is costume play. So you dress up. The costume part I get, the okay. play part is what I'm well, unclear on. Cosplay. Yeah. So everybody at the wedding is going to be in costume and I will be in a costume uh, to officiate the wedding. Is there a theme for the costumes or can you wear any costume you want? Cosplay. Oh, so any. It's a cosplay wedding, Jimmy. Well so that means everybody's going to be in a costume. Right, right. But I'm saying, like, is no, it like... No, it's not, it's not a required theme. Come as Star theme. Wars. It's not a theme. No. Okay, anybody can wear anything, any costume. It's a cosplay wedding. Right, so... <laughs> oh, I'm going to drill it down. I'm going to drill down, really. Are yes. you telling me this is a cosplay wedding? Oh, my God, yes, I am. <laughs> and so it's really exciting. We're going to have a beautiful picnic in the backyard. I'm really excited. Both my children will have been married in my backyard, which brings me to tears. Yeah, and but... it's cheaper, right? It's so much cheaper in the yard. <laughs> I mean, that's it's really so great. much more meaningful. I can't even begin. <laughs> I just in just just forgetting all of show off business, being a parent. Yeah. Having both of your children married in your backyard. Yeah. It's just in your home. Yeah, it's and you're dressed as a moving. raccoon. You know? No, that's... <laughs> no, but... But I am... Um, Ruby and Kinthea picked out my costume. I will it be to... a sit-down dinner or will we eat off the floor? <laughs> I forgot. You're a comedian. Sorry, I... It's okay, it's fine. I'm an open book. Can I tell you one thing about the wedding? Now? Yeah, sure. Can I go back to the wedding? Yeah, the of course. The joke? Yeah. So, Ruby and Kinthea picked my costume, which her name is Jaina Proudmore. It's from, anybody here know what that is? It's a game, I don't know. It's a game, she's an admiral. And so I went on Etsy and wrote Jaina Proudmore costume and up came a woman, had the costume. I said, great, 
you know, we exchanged communication. I paid her a nice sum of money uh -huh. for this, and all is going great. I sent her my measurements. Everything's great. Until a month ago, two, three weeks ago, I got an email from her. She said, there may be a delay in sending the costume. I said, OK, that's fine. A week or two is fine. The costume is coming from Russia. Oh. She is a seamstress in Russia who is making my daughter's, my cosplay wedding outfit. Well, she'd better get that to you. Well, I'm hoping she'll get it to me. I just don't know if, if the, you know, there's a, there's a, a little bit of a supply chain issue. Going oh, yeah, on. right. Yeah, and there's... things are sort of held up now. Have you seen in the port all those boats? I have seen yeah. that, yeah. And so, also, yes, there's a war going on. But I will tell you, you know, there's a lot, of, I don't know if you're, you've been outside, there are a lot of costumes, a lot of people in costume outside who will trade for, like, if you give them, <laughs> like, a, a six-pack of Four loco, you could probably come out with a pretty good costume. Is this thing, that's a backup. Jamie Lee Curtis is here. Her movie is everything, everywhere, all at once. <laughs> Need I remind you that there's already a lien on your property. Repossession is well within our rights. I know. I am paying attention. Do you see these? You don't get one of these unless you've seen a lot of Excuse me. Now, you may <clears throat> only see a pile of boring forms and numbers, but I see a story with nothing but a stack of receipts. I can trace the ups and downs of your lives, and it does not look good. That is something else. It's a, it's a something else movie, Jimmy Kimmel. It is Describe a, this movie. You cannot because... describe it. It is a spectacular multiverse family dysfunctional dramedy with sci-fi and martial arts and raccoons and butt plugs and, <laughs> and Michelle Yeoh, yes! who is the, she is everything, everywhere, all at once in this movie. She does everything you can imagine. It is the weirdest movie you've ever seen and absolutely moving and deeply important. It is an astonishing movie. You have it's a astonishing. martial arts scene here. I, I, I do. Um, I play Deirdre Bobirdra, who is um, an IRS auditor who ultimately becomes her lover but also in the process of becoming her lover in, an, in another multiverse. And, you know, you don't even, it, 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 just go see the movie. It opens, <laughs> it opens on Friday. I'm telling you, you've never, everybody comes out here and says, oh my goodness, you've never seen a movie like I've made. I'm telling you now, you've never seen a movie like everything, everywhere, all at once, opening Friday. Do you feel it's a movie that you should see in the theater? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It, well, and they held it for two years because it needs to be seen in the movie. It is massive. Oh, I it's, see. It's spectacular. Did you train to do the martial arts? I did a this? little train. I, you know, yeah. I, I like to try to learn how to... How we to have something um, that when I was a, a teenager, I went to go see... No, I was actually even younger than a teenager. I went to go see Circus of the Stars taped in Las Vegas. <laughs> Actually, our band leader, Cleto, and I went. And together? Together, yeah. yes. Yeah, We've been friends since we were kids. And um, we, uh, the episode we saw was Brooke Shields. Uh, I don't know, she was like fighting a bear or something. I don't remember what she was doing. <laughs> but the premise of the show was celebrities, celebrities doing circus Circus acts. And you were on this show. Well, I've, I was on it twice. The first time I ever did it, they couldn't find anybody stupid enough to fly on the trapeze. And I was a young actress on a TV series. and. I, my mother, Jan, the great, late, great, spectacular Jan, was on Circus of the Stars, and she came home going like, oh, they just can't find anybody to fly on the trapeze. And I just was like, I'll do it! And, you know, I'd learned how to fly on the trapeze, where you get trained out in the valley, outside in this rig. And what you don't know about flying on the trapeze is the first day, all he said to me is, just climb the ladder and sit there. Do nothing. Because it's freaking high. Right, yeah. It's four stories high. And then you're about to stand there and let go and maybe fall in. It's, it's, it's very scary. Well, Called... let's take a look. Oh, you have it? We have it, yeah. Oh, shut up. Of course we do. You have it. Yeah. 
And here they are, risking okay. life, limb, career, charisma, catastrophe. From the streets of San Francisco, oh, Richard Hatton. From Operation Petticoat, and Tony and Janet, Jamie Lee Curtis. Here's Jamie okay, to do the can... okay. cross and return. OK, but wait. But wait. No. Wait. I've seen this before. Watch what happens. OK, but watch this. OK, that, that, that was because I had fallen. Oh. So what they don't show you is that I fell. So the first time we did it, I fell. Now you think, okay, you're fine, you fall, you get up, you go and do it again. But you have to remember, you fall 40 feet into yeah. a net. <laughs> then you have to get out of the net, which is really fun. And then you have to, and you know those little ladders, those tiny little skinny ladders that you see them climb? Now you have to climb back up. So by the time I had fallen, climbed out, the cameras are rolling. I'm now climbing up, my heart is like this. Oh, sorry, That's your right. sound people are freaking <laughs> out now. But, you know, my heart, is, I was just shaking because, you know, the pressure was on. And so that little cheerleader, like, was because that was the first time I'd ever done it without a wire. I mean, that was it. <laughs> that's, that's the only that's time crazy. I did it. But... Well, it's impressive. The movie is called Everything, Everywhere, All at Once. It's even better than Circus with the Stars. It is the, it is the best thing you'll ever see. It's such a perfect movie. I'm so excited. Go see it in select theaters on Friday and everywhere April 8th. Jamie Lee Curtis, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. Click below to subscribe to our YouTube channel, or if you want to be that way about it, don't.